That's quite a story, isn't it? One concept presented in the Marble Mountain Burn video that deserves some very special attention is this concept called flashover. A primary component of residential fire safety is stopping fires before they get too big. Once a fire begins open flame burning, the clock begins to tick. The fire will grow rapidly, much faster than most people understand. In a matter of minutes or less, a fire can grow from a small flame to become an inferno that no one can survive. That inferno is called flashover. Very simply put, you have less than three minutes to exit a home that is burning. Unfortunately, even working smoke alarms is going to make it very difficult for people to exit their home. So it's very important that they put sprinklers in. Obviously, the fire will be put out immediately, and they'll have plenty of time to exit their house. People think they have a lot more time to get out of a burning building than they actually do. And in fact, because of things in our homes, the amount of time you have to get to safety has been shrinking over the years. It now, we now know that a fire can go from first ignition to flashover in just three minutes. That's no time at all. That's why sprinklers offer such peace of mind because as you're getting your family to safety, that sprinkler, often just one, is controlling the fire, even putting it out. The whole purpose of, of home fire sprinklers is to prevent flashovers. If I can prevent flashovers in a house, that'll save lives of the citizens as well as our firefighters. Well, now we've heard about flashover, but let's take a rare and inside look at a very dramatic flashover event that was shot by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It's truly amazing how fast a fire can grow when all of the conditions are right for things to go wrong. In this case, the simple combination of a family's Christmas tree with a faulty light leads to devastating results. Imagine, if you would, that you just returned home from a holiday party at the office and you went to your bedroom to sleep. Unfortunately, you forgot to water your Christmas tree in the rush of the holiday season. In seconds, the room is engulfed in fire. So quickly that even a smoke detector may not save your life. You are witnessing flashover. Not all flashover events happen this quickly. Typically, a flashover occurs roughly three to four minutes after flaming combustion begins in a residential environment. Even so, there's not much time for a family to become aware of a fire and safely evacuate. Now that you understand the concept of flashover, let's take a look at a particular chart comparing the growth of fire with time and events. This chart clearly shows that even in a best case scenario, the fire department may not be able to arrive quickly enough to rescue trapped occupants and to save a home. This is called the time temperature curve. As you look at that particular curve, you're gonna see that there's a point where smoke detector activates, a residential sprinkler activates, the fire department responds, etc. It's all about time and combustion. So in summary, we need sprinklers to ensure the residential fire won't reach flashover. No other fire safety system available today can prevent a flashover in a home. You may have heard some people suggest that by installing smoke alarms in new homes, there is no need for sprinklers. And you know what? That's simply not true. You should have these in your home, working smoke alarms. They're an essential early warning device. But these, home fire sprinklers, take fire protection a step further. In less time than it would take most fire departments to arrive on the scene, home fire sprinklers can contain and usually put out a fire. In fact, installing home fire sprinklers and smoke alarms reduces the chances of dying in a home fire by more than 80%. New research is indicating that there are some limitations to the protection a smoke alarm will offer. For example, we're finding out that little children often sleep right through the conventional smoke alarm and that older people often have trouble hearing the alarm, so it may not offer them protection either. That's why sprinklers add such an additional la layer of safety and benefit to people. It's universally agreed that smoke alarms are largely responsible for the significant drop that we've seen in fire fatalities over the past 20 years. But having said that, I'd like you to make you aware of three issues to convince you that relying solely on smoke alarms is not a good idea. First, as smoke alarms age, their reliability declines. 
This concern prompted smoke alarm manufacturers to begin stamping an expiration date on each unit, indicating a 10-year replacement cycle. Two questions before us are how many alarms will actually be replaced at that 10-year interval, and what will happen to the reliability of alarms that are not replaced? Second, there's an issue related to the waking effectiveness of smoke alarms. In a study completed in 2006, only 58% of a test group of children, ages 6 to 12, awakened when a standard smoke alarm sounded, and only 38% of that test group successfully evacuated. And finally, you need to know that the number of fatalities in homes protected with working smoke alarms is on the rise. Statistics from the 1990s show that one in five fire fatalities occurred in a home with a working smoke alarm. More recent data from 1999 to 2001 shows that nearly one in every three fire fatalities occurs in a home with a working smoke alarm. So in summary, let's make sure that you got this story straight. Sprinklers complete the home fire safety package. Smoke alarms are important but they're only alerting devices, and on their own, they do nothing to stop the spread of fire, to protect occupants who cannot protect themselves, or to protect property, or to protect firefighters. Sprinklers do all of these. Another issue you may have heard about is that residential fires are a function of a home's age and that new homes are safe enough without sprinklers. Many people buy into this argument because on the surface, it sort of seems to make sense. However, further analysis actually paints a slightly different picture. 